Hi there, Henry Smith here from mindworkingrich.com. We're we'll talking about how to understand the game of money and play it well. So what I'm doing today is today's update, where I update my cryptocurrency portfolio, something I do on a, on a daily basis. Uh, almost on a daily basis, not quite. I've done it for a few days now because I've been busy, but I'm updating it today. So um, let me share my screen. But before I do, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Also understand that I'm not a financial advisor, so it's not a financial advice video. Neither am I a uh, financial planner, or uh, so make sure you do your own research before you do any anything financial. And also understand that all investing can be risky, so don't invest more money than you can afford to lose. So with that, I'm going to uh, share my screen. That's what I want to do. Share that screen. Share that screen. Okay, so this is what I update. So I'm gonna been doing this now for over a year. Okay, 23rd February. This is where I get the figures from. This portfolio consists of one Bitcoin and a selection of altcoins, and it's updated every 10 minutes. So one Bitcoin here, altcoins here, and that's the total. It's US dollars. This is British pounds. This is the percentage split. So, um, I forgot what right now is this 118,558. Time 118,555. 50 something, 55 something. I bet you I've got it wrong. Let's see 68. 558, 68, 68, okay, close. So let's 68. And then the next one is 157,481. 157,481 and 18, okay. 18. Okay, so let's uh, do the totals here. Let's see what that is. So that is much higher than when I last measured it. Obviously, it's not on the day because. Um, not going to have been up since then, but let's um, make sure we've got that right. That doesn't even seem right. 118,000, not 188,000. Thought something was wrong there. Okay, yes. So it's still on a downtrend. Um, still, we're well, on quite a long downtrend the last couple of days. And this one is. Minus 6,000, Bitcoin is also down thousands. So all coins are down 7,800, 7, 5,786. Bitcoin is down 1,076 and total portfolio is down. That's based on the last day, 6,862. What was that? Oh, it's big on Saturday when I last updated it. Um, okay. So everything stays red. A close look at the markets. Is uh, market is down to 1.7 trillion right now, almost half of its peak. You now it was um, it did reach a peak of. Uh, Three trillion. So that means the market has fallen since its last peak. It's fallen, what, 51%? But right now we're like 46% down on, on the all time high of the market. So that's okay. That's what we're just getting ready for the next bump. Bitcoin following the same trajectory as well. Down. Uh, 
46%. So it's following the same pattern, the whole market kind of following the same pattern as Bitcoin. Now it's still in the Gaussian channel. And so these downtrends are downtrends for a reason. So the powerful force is keeping Bitcoin down. Number one, the Gaussian channel, and we'll talk more about this maybe in tomorrow's video, but we've been in the Gaussian channel since 16th of May, and uh, we're still in it. But I'll talk about more about that in tomorrow's video. But as I, as I mentioned several times on these videos, there are three powerful death crosses. I think my last video may have talked about the triple death cross or something like that. And during this death cross, the market has fallen um, from the actual, let's say, to see if I look at the death cross, it's actually come down under the, uh, about uh, 32%. There was a death cross. And there was a death cross here. This was on the one day chart. This was on the 14th of January. Then there was another death cross on the two day chart. So, on the two day chart, there was just a recent death cross in, on the 14th, 16th of February. February. And uh, so, this is last week. And that, you know, from, from the death cross, from the actual cross, I should, you know, the market dipped and it hasn't finished dipping 22%. It could go further. So, so the, so the, but I should really I shouldn't use from the death cross. But I'm going to I'm using the death cross as a for, for a reason. So from this point where it crossed, from the point where it crossed, the market went down a total of, just to say to the bodies anyway, but to the bodies, 27 percent from where it crossed. Um, on the two day, we may have not finished seeing the. The, the, the completion of the downward trend yet from this course, if it went down 27%, oh. if it went down 27% from the actual cross, it would probably go down to around 34,000. Uh, market has been down to 36,000, as you, as you can see, but yeah, it could go down to around 34,000. But the interesting thing is, there's still one more death cross to, possibly to come. You know, you know, people think, you know, the facts are in the charts. It's not based on what's happening in the news, it's the facts are in the charts. And, and um, these death crosses are facts that happen in the charts. And every time they happen, there was a dip. There's another one coming approximately. 10th of May. This keeps moving. This will continue to move as the price changes. Um, if price continues to rise, the bounce off this and uses 200-day moving average as support, it may push the death cross, the third death cross over. Now, this is on the three-day chart, but the way things are going right now, if there was a 27% um, a dip under the death cross itself, that would take Bitcoin down to around 29,000, okay? So there could still be some more downwards trends as we move towards May. Now, the good thing about May is that after that death cross and after the downward trend, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna start going up and up and up and up. And the momentum you get of it going up could be enough for it to escape the Gaussian channel. Okay, we go down to, to uh, in May, down to uh, 29,000. But it usually does go under the tunnel properly. It hasn't it actually gone under the tunnel yet? So there's still room and scope for it to go under the tunnel while it starts to make its way up. So, you know, this could be, for those who are looking for it to rise, this could be a continued uh, rocky ride for the next couple of months. Uh, end of February, uh, the March of April, so the next three months could indeed, two and a half to three months, could it indeed be rocky, uh, bearish, shall I say. The ADXL, um, ADI uh, 
chart like that. This, on the uh, 17th of February, went back bearish. So they've got the red line back above the green line, green line at the bottom. The mouth is opening wide. So it, we're still in a, we're in a quite a massive chart right? downtrend after we had a brief you know coming together and we had the bear, a bullish trend here from the uh, 4th of February to around the 17th of February things were a bit bullish but it wasn't a very strong bullish um, period because this yellow line was always going downwards shows that this was very very weak you understand so when this, this yellow line is pointing upwards it shows the strength of the trend. So this trend was pretty weak. This trend, with you know, we shall see if, if it points upwards and goes up like this, it will show this bullish, this bearish trend, this red trend, which is a bearish, is pretty strong. But we shall see how it pans out. But right now we're in a bearish trend. Things are bearish. Things are bearish because of you know because we're still in death cross season, so to speak. And when it ends. After May, then things should become bullish once more. But we shall want to see. But if you want to keep up to date with all this, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, I'll keep you updated. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Don't forget to visit our website, by the way, I'm worth the rich.com, where you can download your millionaire mindset and the business strategy free. So download that. And then I will. Um, Send that to you immediately. Make sure you apply everything that's in the videos. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.